What's going on you guys? This is uh, MexKD. I have another Dale Latitude E6540. Gonna be a CPU upgrade. Show you how to do that. So I'm gonna be upgrading to this is an Intel Core i7 4810MQ quad core. And it's got in here the processor's uh, i7 4610. I'm upgrading from dual core to quad core. So I'm going to switch the back side. And you're going to remove the battery. So you need a mini Phillips head screwdriver. There's one screw here in the middle and one here in the right. And you also have to remove the... There are two screws here in the back for the hard drive. Either solid state drive and this one doesn't have. So you're gonna go like this. I'm gonna remove the panel. So what I'll do is we're just gonna do a thick uh, toothbrush. It's a new one I'm using. This is what clean off the fan from the CPU cooling fan. It has a little bit of dust on it. So you're gonna take it and remove it. So it's got four screws for the CPU and here's the graphics. It's got three screws it's holding. Let's zoom in the camera. And the graphics and the CPU both are using the same screws actually. You're going to gently lift this up and the graphics right here. So you're going to come out like this and you're going to disconnect the CPU cooler fan right here in the corner. Again, I'm going to take a brush and clean off again the fan in the back. And this is a light toothbrush, it's a Colgate I'm using, brand, so it looks a lot better. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take a credit card or debit card you have, and you're going to scrape off the old thermal compound from the heatsink.
and do not use a blade. Try to remove the heat of the thermal compound, otherwise it will scratch the heat sink. Do not use a blade, sharp blade I don't recommend. Just use a plastic credit card, it will work fine. I'm just going to take a 91% rubbing alcohol. And I need a napkin. Gently, not too much. So I'm going to take again the, so this is the original heatsink, the same one, and it's got the heat pad right here for the memory, so don't forget. And this one looks like, I'm going to install it back, it goes back in like this. And this is for the memory, don't forget, if you remove it, put it back on. The same way it looks, like that. So that's cleaned. I'm going to make it straight. So I'm going to remove the, this out of the way. Now you're going to do is remove the CPU and it's using the Torx T8. This is the dual core, and this is a quad core, and the way you're going to install it is going to point an arrow right here in the corner you guys can see. I'm probably not going to zoom in. So it's got a pointing arrow right here down, that's the way you can install it the same way. And you're gonna when it turns left, it means it's unlocked. You're gonna turn it right. The screw means locked. What I will do is the graphics gonna remove the old thermal compound. like really dry so what I'll do is I will take a brush like this I'm gonna wipe it off so I'm gonna take this like this and uh Try to brush off the old thermal compound off.
Now I'm gonna go and install, apply some thermal compound. I'm guys using a thermal uh, Arctic Silver 5. So what I will do is I'm gonna zoom out the camera. So that's good enough. I'm gonna take a credit card again and uh, try try to spread it evenly. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna go install back the heat sink. Don't forget to connect back the CPU cooler. You're gonna install like this. And you're gonna install back the the fan back to the motherboard, the connector. Wow. So installing back it's a lot harder, so I'm gonna take a screwdriver like this. Okay, that's installed. Now we're gonna connect back the install back the screws. One here on the left, one on the right, right and left. You're gonna check all the screws, make sure they're tight. And you're gonna install back the cover.
Cool. And this is for the hard drive. And the battery back. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.